um, so, um, it's been a couple of days, and, you know, since I did my last Mental Health Monday video, and I talked about, uh, you know, really not wanting to be here, um, you know, it's not, there's not nothing that's been out of the blue, and matter of fact, there's like a bunch of videos out of me explaining my mental health and my depression and the way that I feel. Because I'm, I'm literally wide open about mental health, wide open about depression, um, wide open about anything that I've been able to go through. A lot of majority of the time, you have to realize you have to separate yourself from a lot of people, and the people those in your life you don't really necessarily know how to explain what you're going through to them. Through things, people go through struggles, people go through financial issues, you know, people go through a lot of stuff that you may not know. Going on, uh, there's a lot, uh, but I'm okay. Just okay though, I'm not completely 100% fine, but I am okay and I am willing to talk about it and I am willing to do this and help other people as well, so being in that role model to help the next person. And that's where I see him at the at the most. And I sometimes explain, you know, that I'm not okay, or some days are better than others. And, you know, um, and it's not like I haven't been openly speaking about it for the last four years. Uh, it's just people starting to, you know, um, pay attention. And it's not like that I'm trying to get people to pay attention to me. It's not like a publicity stunt or anything. It's literally, I've been doing this for a while. And if you know, the few people that I've been able to, to reach, um, it's only been like a couple hundred, you know, but those people, I, I feel like I've been able to help motivate or change their lives as well. But but like I said, man, it's like, there's nothing new. I've, I've, I've openly said it around my friends. I've openly said it around, you know, a lot of people who, who may have been going through the same things that I've been going through, and I've shared those struggles with those people. Um, go get it, Rim. Go. Go. But, um, yeah, uh, I haven't been at home, no, um, and I don't plan on going back home until people stop showing up until my, my, my door. And I don't feel comfortable at the fact that people that I haven't that even known or met before have entered my, my place of residence. Um, don't know how they got in. Uh, but, no, I'm not okay. I, I, I haven't been okay for a long time. And yes, I've tried to reach out to family or friends. Um, they even put out like a missing persons report. I've already told one of my friends who, where I was at. I thought he would tell people where I was at, but that didn't happen. And I'm also, uh, my brothers have my location, but they're, they're apparently not the smartest of the bunch. So I had to start sharing my location with somebody that's a little bit more smarter to check where I'm at. Um, <sighs> my knees. But a lot of people have known who have watched my videos or whatever it may be uh, may know where I like to be. It's either by water or open land. Um, oh man, just mentally, physically, financially, just all of the above. It's just a lot of shit, you know, just. just constantly being thrown in and like I said in my last video man I'm tired of people always saying the same shits and not the solution you know what I mean like God gives his toughest battles to his strongest warriors bullshit that is bullshit I'm tired of hearing it I'm not gonna say it again and I'm tired of hearing it. that's not a solution it's not helping nobody all you're doing is making that person even matter I'm telling you right now constantly reminding people about their loss or their struggles or some shit that doesn't help I'm telling y'all right now, from a lot of people who I've already talked to, they said the same things. That shit doesn't happen. It's so frustrating. Um, man, my thought, my thoughts, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I've already explained it in one of my other videos before. I don't think that I can physically harm myself. So, two, if you have, like, thoughts or sadnesses of 
ending it all, which I have been there. Um, it's not worth it. I feel like for me, I can't even harm myself. And I just did not want to wake up some days. You know, some days I go by the, if, if for those of my Michigan people watching it, you know what the red cedar is. It's times I would go at like January, 3 a.m. I got a lift at six, I'd be up at three, stressed. I don't take my dogs with me, I go with myself by the red cedar and it's freezing cold and I would just cry and my tears would turn into like icicles and I would just cry out there trying to figure out a way, bro. Trying to figure out a fucking way to help myself. You know what I mean? But it's just that I literally just don't want to. I've said this plenty of times. I've talked to therapists about it. I've talked to a lot of people about it. I literally just wake up and I don't wish I woke up. I mean, there's nothing that m nobody else can really do or say um, about different things. And this just, you know what I'm saying? Not just me. It's not just me. Trust. It's not just me, it's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of people that's close to me, a lot of people that's, um, that I've, you know what I'm saying, know or met before, they they all feel the same way and it's really hard for us to deal with it. And I don't know, I don't know, it's not like I ain't tried. I've tried so hard to reach out to other people. I've tried to, <laughs> people were like, why do you just reach out to family or, you know what I'm saying? Trust me, man. To be honest, my family is not even the, the, it's family. I don't get to choose them, but they're not the, the exact group of people to have in your corner at the moment when stuff gets hard. If you know what I mean, trust me, I know. A lot of, a lot of them have abandoned me in a time of need tremendously. A lot of the times when I needed them to be there, a lot of shit that scars me to this day, and they wasn't there. Um, type of type of shit. I mean, I forgave them, but there's a lot of shit you just really don't forget. But other than that, I just like to be by myself. Um, I got my group of people that I talk to. Uh, I can't talk to everybody all at once. Um, but I guess I can let y'all know that I'm alive at least. I mean, I don't know, man. system of life is just so fucking stupid you gotta literally wait and depend on other people to give you an opportunity and, and to, to do things and like I said it's not like I've tried you know what I'm saying with the whole financial thing I've actually applied for a lot of jobs and a lot of people tell me I'm overqualified overqualified so what the fuck is my master's degree for my opportunities with, with chasing my dreams um, they'll be there like, you know what I'm saying, you prepare to, to move to another state or another country or some shit like that and they just take it away from you at last minute. It's, it's just mentally fucking you up. And I've, I've openly uh, explained a lot of these through videos and stuff. It's just, you know, it's just tough. A lot of things are tough, man. And it's, you know, you just feel like there's nothing you can really do with just life, your mental health, your physical health. Like I said, it's a lot of times you just wake up and you just really don't want to be here, bro. People I ain't heard from in years, years. I obviously haven't been on my phone, but I've seen a couple of people I haven't heard from even after my dad died, my mom died. Not a word, not a, not a condolence, not nothing. But it's just amazing to me, you know. And like I said, it's not nothing that I've I've ever hidden. Is I've been literally wide open about it, about about different situations, uh, expressing myself and how I feel each and every other week. I mean, I guess the last video just kind of like 
was a real eye opener to a lot of people. And I know they not. I know. I know we reached a lot of people, and they're not that long. Only ones, man. But it's here, here. But it's tough. But. You know, I like my peace. I never liked social media. I just, I, I, I always wanted to be able to help other people out, but I had stuff. And like I said, I, I try, I, I speak up about things. I, you know, do my best, but. Stress and depression would just eat you alive, man. It would just eat you alive. So, 